So let's take a look at my Coleman gas lantern. These are pretty cool because this technology was designed in 1914, over 100 years ago, and Coleman's still making these today. Um, they looked a little bit different back then, but this is um, an 80s model, so this is pretty much what they look like today. The, the modern ones, you know, in 2024 are going to have more um, plastic parts. Uh, this one has more steel parts on it, which I think is just cooler. So if you can find these on uh, Facebook Marketplace um, or at a Goodwill store or something, I'd pick them up because these old ones are just cool, man. Um, this does take Coleman camp fuel or or white gas, which doesn't put out an odor. Uh, you could use unleaded gasoline from your car if you wanted to in a pinch. I don't recommend that though, unless you just really needed to, because the, the, the unleaded will have a smell for sure. But it's kind of nice that you can use unleaded gas if you wanted to. Um, it's kind of like a, a prepper tool, right? Dual use, it's like a backup to your flashlights. Um, I do believe the older models from 100 years ago were originally designed to run off of kerosene. Uh, this model here, from what, I, from what I've read, does not run off of kerosene. So some quick uh, nomenclature um, on this lantern here, if you've never seen these before. Uh, it has a handle here, so you can hang it um, from a tree or at the campsite somewhere. You can just carry it around too. You got this metal disc on top that you can actually unscrew and take the top off so you can put new mantles on there. That's how you would put the mantles on as you take it all apart. That's all you also how you take off the glass globe. They call this part right here. This is the globe. Um, this one actually has a cool stamp on here. It says Pyrex. Remember those from the 70s? <laughs> so this is an original glass Pyrex globe, which is kind of nice. Um, inside there, those are like, I don't know what those are made out of. I guess they're like, they look like nylon socks is what they look like. Uh, then you have a valve here for, I call it like, I call this like the dimmer switch. So it's like a fine tuned valve that makes the, the lantern shine either dim or bright. So all the way up is off, all the way down is all the way on. So bright. So we'll start it in the off position. You have this uh, old school valve clockwise is closed or uh, off counterclockwise is open so you can tell that this is like a 70s or 80s model because it has this um, this aluminum cover piece here uh, I, th I think the, pl the newer ones today are like all plastic um, also too on the valve here or the plunger the pump um, the pump itself um, they look different on the modern ones they're more plastic this one's all um, aluminum and metal and brass so you have an aluminum uh, knob here with a brass um, tube or plunger and then a, a metal cap right here the new ones today are going to be plastic caps um, matter of fact if you take this off um, you just take a, a hook or something a tool to pull this cap off here just take that little locking pin off there now you can access the plunger and if you look the plunger on the older ones have a leather um, valve, I guess you call that. It's like a leather valve. And you just put um, engine oil on there to keep it nice and lubricated so it holds a nice airtight seal. And that's what the old ones look like. The new ones, this will be a plastic valve, which is, I think that's kind of lame. All right, so to put it back together, you'll just put it back on here like that. Again, you'd want to put some oil on there. I already put oil on there. And then you just push it down. Then you line up all your holes. You take your locking pin. And you hook that in. There you go, once it's locked in. So how this works is, this is just a, an air pump. So inside here, you can't see it, but inside, inside here, there's a ball valve. So as you uh, pull the the pump out, you'll cover the hole with your thumb here. And as you push that air into the chamber, that ball valve will open. And then as you pull back out, the ball valve will close. A little pro tip here, um, if you are having a hard time getting pressure built up in your tank, lock it or close it, and then just back off just a couple millimeters, not much. 
and then start pumping. Because if you unlock it all the way, you're just going to let all the air out. So I got my thumb covering the hole. I can feel pressure building up. It's actually pushing back on my hand. So we're going to pump it up. I think it's uh, 15 to 15 to 30 pumps to get the pressure in there. And then once you get it to where you're, you want it, you just go clockwise to lock it in place. That should be enough just to do the demonstration anyways. All right, so to light this thing, you'll take your barbecue lighter or a really long match because you got to reach up into those mantles. Keep in mind when you do this, gas is going to come out in here and when you light it, it's going to flash on you. So don't be afraid. There's going to be a small flash of fire. So watch this. I'm going to open the uh, mantle, the dimmer switch. I'm going to open it up, stick that in there and open the valve. Boom. See? So now I'm going to close the dimmer down a little bit. We're going to let that burn off. Once it burns off and kind of vaporizes in the system, you'll see the mantles just start to glow, which is pretty cool. Now here's your dimmer over here on this side. Your dimmer, you can make it bright, which is pretty dang bright for a campsite. That's cool. Look how bright that is. It'll go all the way open. That's all the way open, as bright as it can go. You can hear the gas shooting through the system. It's got like a, a like a pressurized sound, like a, a hissing sound almost. And if you want to dim it down, it's too bright. You can just bring it down just like that. It's really fine tuned. Look how dim that is. You can see the threads on your mantle. Clockwise turns it off. And you'll still see the lanterns on fire. They'll still be burning even though you turned everything off because there's residual gas in the system. But there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial on my Coleman gas lantern. I'm going to use this to go camping here on Memorial Day uh, weekend. It's going to be pretty awesome. We're going to be down there in the uh, Mammoth Lakes area. So this should be a lot of fun. The kids will, uh, will love it, I'm sure. <laughs> I'll walk them through on how to do this too. Uh, but anyways... Hit that like button to support my channel. I appreciate it. It helps me out a lot. And leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about these, oh, these old uh, gas Coleman lanterns. Take care, guys. Get out there. Have fun. Enjoy life.